过去，蓬佩奥前国务卿形容台湾是民主成功的故事，可信赖的伙伴及世界良善的力量。今天，我们很高兴欢迎蓬佩奥前国务卿率船来访。亲身见证台湾人民的友善，以及热情，以及对民主自由的坚持。刚刚透过颁证特种大受警星勋章，除了表彰蓬佩奥前国务卿对台美关系的贡献，我要代表台湾人民表达最深的感谢。蓬佩奥前国务卿不仅长期支持台湾的国际参与，在任内更为台美关系带来了许多的突破。包括解除对台对台交往的限制、对台军售常态化，以及台美高层互访层级不断的提高，这些都是加深双方的互动合作。在蓬佩奥前国务卿的支持之下，台美在区域民主治理、经济、教育以及公共卫生等多项领域，也建立了对话的机制，像是台美经济繁荣伙伴对话。在过去两年连续的举办，今年也预期将再次的召开。在去年台美提法会议复谈之后，我们也期待透过现有的机制，加强台美在各领域的合作，并且早日启动双边贸易协定的协商进程，让台美经贸关系可以更紧密。近来面对乌克兰情势发展，台湾也和美国等民主伙伴合作。参与国际社会对俄罗斯的经济制裁，就在几天前，我们也启动了对乌克兰的人道救援。台湾和美国共享民主自由价值，我们也希望未来台美可以共同写下更多民主成功的故事。It is incredibly humbling to be here today and to receive this award, President Tsai. Thank you so much. It's great to be with you. It's great to be with your whole team, your chief of staff, national security advisor. Former colleague, Foreign Minister. It's wonderful, most of all, to be here with the Taiwanese people, who I have come to know and love, albeit from afar, as this is my first time here. I've come to know them as a noble and caring and loving and freedom-demanding people. One of the things I learned now, some most 40 years ago, when I was a young soldier, was that. To do the right thing is both proper and necessary, and to demand that leaders provide their citizens with freedom and prosperity and stability matters an awful lot. Madam President, you have done that with in such a noble, wonderful way. You, I, it is so wonderful to watch, and such a blessing to me to watch a great leader deliver that to her people. If any of us were mistaken or complacent. About the risk to that freedom, I think we need only watch what's taking place in Europe today to see that this continues to demand deep, concerted, focused leadership from those of us who cherish freedom. Madam President, you spoke of the things that we did during my time as Secretary of State,、uh, allowing. Normal relationships between our diplomats to have meetings when it was important to them to have meetings,、uh, to send Americans here, American、uh, diplomatic leaders here, to have conversations about our mutual best interests, our economic interests, our security interests, our interests in promoting freedom around the world. These were simple, and right, and proper, and I am so thrilled to see what I hope the people here in Taiwan will see. Which is that these aren't partisan or political, but these are American commitments that are in our best interests, our American tradition, and in the deep interests of securing and building on the relationship between the United States and Taiwan. Madam President, thank you again. I, th I think these days call for the simple reminder that、um, it is not provocative to say that one demands freedom. Indeed, to walk away from these things demonstrate the absence of resolve, and that those who desire to destroy freedom, to change human lives, will see quiet, or the absence of direct language, recognition of the basic realities of the human condition, as their opportunity. President Xi, I am confident you will not permit that to happen on your watch. I, I can assure you that the American people stand with you in that very effort. Bless you. Thank you for this incredible privilege today. It is such a joy to be here. 
I'm going to enjoy the dried pineapple very much. And I know that I'm going to enjoy even more than that the opportunity to meet the Taiwanese people and thank them for all they have done, all they're doing today for the people of Ukraine, all they're doing today for their families and their fellow citizens, and all that they have done to build out an important relationship with the United States of America as well. Thank you so much, Madam.